Y'all, I just got ripped off. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I know y'all like, where you been? I've been sick. I've been very, very sick. <clears throat> Still got a good cold on my last leg. But off that going away, that's great. I had some injections in my back because of a car accident. But let me tell y'all what's going on. So, lately, I went and I found out, you know, that the game I won, just like I told you, I played inside the tournament and everything, so it's just about done. So I'm asking for my source code, and no response. And I'm like, what is going on? You know, I, I've been paid all this money. Tell me why the owner of the company got out of business, I didn't know nothing about it, and then he just said he just told me he filed for bankruptcy. And he lost all his money. I'm like, what? And he didn't tell. And then he told the developer to get the money from me. The developer bought four thousand dollars from me. I done paid all the money already in full, everything. And now he want the money from me. Something don't even add up. And I'm like, this is extortion. You know? I got my source code. If you don't know what source code is, source code is basically how uh, the back end that all the files and everything. It's the only way that you are able to actually uh, pay or anything. Uh, the only way that you actually need to get in the game and you can change stuff. It is, it's, it's the game itself, basically. If you don't have the source code, it's, it's like the keys. You don't have nothing. You don't even own it, you know. If this is what you get when the person is um, finished paying for it, and step by step, you should get a source code. I learned this the hard way. So now, I'm in a dispute between the developer trying to get this situated about me paying money for my own game that I done paid thousands of dollars for. Could you imagine paying thousands of dollars at a car shop and when you go back to the car shop, it's out of business, but the mechanic is still there, but the owner is not there or, the, or nobody in the front. And the owners and the mechanic say, hey, I've been working on your car, but I ain't got paid from the owner, so I need you to pay me his debt, basically. That is what I'm going through. Ain't that crazy? That is beyond crazy. So now I gotta make a deal with the developers just to get my game uh, and get it going. So you have to follow this journey. This journey is crazy. Got a, I got a lot of twists and turns in it. Um, so follow me. Also, I got a new Facebook because my last Facebook, like I kicked out, I had no idea why. And then they told me COVID, so I couldn't bring my ID. Then I got kicked out on Facebook. So I just got a new Facebook. I wasn't gonna get it, but I'm at the end stage, y'all. I'm ready. So I got a new Facebook. Uh, Ray Brandon, R E A Brandon, Ray Brandon. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, I got a new uh, game, Ray's Boom Boom Room 2. Because if you see Ray's Boom Boom Room, so you will see that. And that would be um, the logo. So you see the logo. Once you see that logo, then uh, you know that's me. Raised boom boom room. I'm gonna be live coming back on there and everything. The reason why I haven't been on there live playing one on one with nobody is because my game, my, my Facebook and everything just shut down. And I had to make a whole new one. I mean, my my regular page and everything. So I'm starting all over from scratch. Don't have no family members, nothing. So follow me and we're gonna make it do what it do. Remember, love is a key. I got a whole bunch of stuff to tell you. God bless.